Hi guys, I just want to give a quick feedback of what the Lord spoke to us last night in our prayer. And just as we're fasting and praying this week, uh, maybe you can put this in your heart and ponder it. I was going to shoot this on the rocks down there, ugly and came, but it's a little bit windy, so I'm just in my car. Um, you see so often in church history and throughout scripture, when the church comes together to pray corporately, there's just such a move of God and such a gentle touch of His Spirit. You see so often revivals and great moves of God were started when the church comes together to pray together. And this passage the Lord gave us last night out of Ezekiel. I'm not going to read the whole passage, but if you can, you want to go and read it, it's Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. I'm just going to read, read a piece of it. Verse 1, the hand of the Lord is upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord, and he set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. And he led me around them, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you and will cause your flesh to come, cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you. And you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. In verse 14, the Lord says, and I will put my spirit within you and you shall live and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken and I will do it, declares the Lord. And God gives this vision to Ezekiel and he tells Ezekiel to look across the valley and Ezekiel sees dry bones, but the Lord sees an army. When Ezekiel looks at the valley, all he sees is dead, dry bones, but the Lord looks at it and he sees an army. And as the Lord begins to move, flesh comes onto these bones, life comes back into what appears to be dead. Life was given as God begins to move. Now, my, the challenge the Lord gave us last night is what do you see in your life? When you look at your family, your finances, your career, whatever it is, do you see dry bones or do you see an army? Do you see what God is able to do or do you just see through your natural eyes? And I feel God is calling us to look through his eyes, look at our communities, look at our neighborhood, look at our nation, look at our family and see the life that God can bring through the power of his spirit. God is calling us to go deeper into his presence, to take a step beyond what we're comfortable with, what we're familiar with. And then we're going to see the life of God come into every aspect of our lives. Please keep this in your heart. Pray through this this week. How does this apply to you? How does this challenge you? And what are the changes God is calling you to make in your life to take the dry bones and turn them into an army? Look forward to seeing you on Thursday night. If you're going to join us, um, keep praying, fasting with us this week as we really seek God for this community and nation. God bless.